Alrighty, in this wonderful video here, we're going to determine whether we have a rational expression or not. And often a common, you know, test question here, which one of these is rational or which one's not rational? So basic idea here is that we have a polynomial divided by a polynomial or that it can be written, can be written as a polynomial divided by a polynomial. Okay, so in my first example here, I have a quadratic binomial degree of two, and there's two terms, divided by a linear binomial. Those are two polynomials, so I do have a rational expression. All right. Second one here, I have a degree of one-half there. Okay, I have x raised to the one-half. I'm not allowed to have fractions as exponents. I can't have not, I cannot have rational exponents as exponents. All right. Also, I can't have x in the exponent. That's an exponential, okay, not a polynomial. So this is a double no-no. And although in math, two negatives make a positive, it doesn't work out for rationals, folks, okay? So no in the numerator, no in the denominator, doesn't matter, all I need is one no and it's not rational. But I did want to address the exponential as well and saying, hey, even if it was just this was the bad part, still not rational. All right, next one over here. My numerator has the square root of x, dead giveaway, not rational. Although my denominator is a nice, beautiful quadratic trinomial, it's not going to be rational because of that numerator. All right. Now, the fourth one here, I have a polynomial, but it's inside of absolute values divided by that wonderful 2x, that linear monomial. But because we have the absolute value going on the numerator, not a rational expression. Now this fifth one, I have a lovely constant, right? A monomial up in that numerator divided by a linear monomial in the denominator, polynomial for polynomial. Very simple, yet so elegant. Yes, it is rational. Cool. And then my last one over here, remember when I was emphasizing the word can, can be written as a polynomial? Well, if I go through some fancy mathematics because you're like, bro, negative exponents, that's a no bueno in polynomial land. It's not a polynomial if it has negative exponents. Check this out. Can I multiply something by one and it doesn't change, right? A million times one is just a million, right? So multiplying by one, no big deal. What if I get creative with my form of one? What if I were to multiply this whole thing by x cubed divided by x cubed? x cubed divided by x cubed is one, right? We said anything divided by itself is one. So by our own admission here, this is just multiplying by one, which will not change anything, right? So if I were to multiply my entire numerator in an entire denominator by that x cubed, I would now have 2x3 and negative 2 is going to give me 1, so it's just 2x, minus x cubed and x cubed will just give me then the 3, sorry, x cubed and x to the negative third will add to 0, so it's x to the 0, so just 3 is left over. Down in the denominator, I'm going to have 2x to the fourth plus 4x cubed. Now, is this right here in blue a rational expression? It's got a polynomial divided by a polynomial. Yes, it is. So this would be rational. That one, that's a tricky one, folks, okay? Definitely in disguise. But by multiplying by x cubed over x cubed, I've now transformed this thing into positive exponents, making it, by definition, a rational function. That was pretty cool. That was pretty dope, if I do say so myself. And I hope you guys thought so too. See you later.